Okay, Davy Price uh, takes his next step up the heavyweight ladder, well, up or to the side, against uh, Matt Skelton. Now, this fight, a lot of people have seen as a foregone conclusion. Uh, I think people think as soon as uh, Skelton get hit, gets hit on the chin or gets hit on top of his head by Price, Skelton will fall over and we can start looking at the next opponent. And they're probably right. Um, when I made my prediction about Audley Harrison, um, you know, you go for the fight, you think about certain things, technical things, maybe this could happen, maybe that could happen. But the one thing that counted all those things out and all those weeks of preparation was the big right hand from Price. Price is a devastating puncher um, with the right hand. Um, and to be honest, that right hand alone, Audley's not the only one. Uh, will be on the, on the at, at the end at the end of that right hand, the receiving end of that right hand. There'll be other heavyweights as well, um, and I think that Price and Maloney are expecting Skelton to be on the end of it. Now I don't know if it'll have the same effect on Skelton as it did on Audley. Um, Skelton's a tough guy, tough man, but he's an old man, and we don't have to worry about Skelton growing old overnight. Skelton's 45, we think. Um, um, or so he's reported. Some people say he's older than that, and um, you know he's not. He's not t technically brilliant. Um, he's a brawler yeah, from from K1. He's a brawler. He's a tough man. He's been British champion, and uh, he's done well for himself, to be fair. But he is limited. He's slow on his feet. He's no Muhammad Ali. He's not the biggest puncher either. Um, but he's tough. He's tough. He's rough. He'll, he'll try and manhandle price um, and really at this stage it's up to price to use his attributes his long left jab his big right hand his uppercuts and try and keep the fight at distance that's what you'd expect from David price and that's what I expect to see what I can see happening is Skelton will have an idea to get in the ring and rough up price now he's gonna have to take some shots coming in um, against David price and I can just see price peppering with the peppering with the jab and his Skelton decides to get in Hitting him hard with the right hand. It's just a matter of how much, how many of those right hands Skelton can take. The only thing I'm interested in in this fight and any of David Price's fights is what happens when he gets hit on the chin against somebody who's got a fair amount of pop and can get on the inside. Skelton, that's all he'll know to do: get on the inside and rough him up. There's gonna be no other, no plan B. Don't expect Skelton to get on the back foot and start using a jab and boxing. It's not gonna happen. Skelton's an out-and-out -out brawler, so it's the brawler versus the boxer. But um, this brawler's got a problem because he's got slow feet, so he's going to be slow to come in. Um, also, Skelton's not a defensive wizard. He doesn't move his head very much, so more or less he's a stationary target. The uh, Bedford Bear is going to get mauled, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um, unless he comes up with some sort of cross-arm defense where he can get inside. Actually, I doubt it's going to happen. I can just see Price with the left jab, left jab pinging him with the right hand and hitting Skelton hard. And I don't know, four or five rounds, and either Skelton being stopped by the referee or Skelton retiring in the corner. Um, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't see Skelton winning the fight. And let me tell you something if Skelton gets inside, manages to get inside on David Price at 45 years old, when I'm slow feet and can get inside a Price, big problems because um, I don't know how price can, how good price can fight on the inside so it's how price reacts under pressure those are the questions really that's it and before you start hyping any fighter up you need to know what he's like through a crisis Tyson Fury is far more developed uh, as a fighter yes he's reckless but we know things about Tyson Fury he's been hit he's been hurt he's been down he gets up he wins fights Price hasn't done anything apart from knock over Audley Harrison, which, you know, I didn't expect him to do the way he did. Um, I expected him to win, but I didn't expect him to do that. So, who knows? Um, I still think at this point Fury is the better fighter, simply because Fury has, um, has done more, achieved more at this point in time. But we'll see. You know, all these, all these question marks about Price maybe just... I don't know, hogwash. He may have a granite chin and he may fight excellently on the back foot. 
but I'm not so sure. Go back to his amateur days and he seemed to mentally um, cave in when people put pressure on him. So we'll see. But after this Skelton fight, I would not... People talk about, yeah, well, next fight he'll fight Chisora. Well, if I were Derek Chisora, I would avoid David Price for the simple fact that he's had all these fights. He's come on a, lay, a long layoff. He's come back to fight David Price. I wouldn't fight David Price. Bear in mind that Chisora, as far as I'm concerned, fights better against taller guys um, than he does against guys, you know, that hit the top of his head, which allows him to bob and weave. I think he's very good against those sort of opponents, and I think that that fight would be very interesting against Price. But I would, if I was Derek Chisora, I'd be looking to um, rebuild his career. Um, so let's hope that the Chisora fight's not the next fight on the agenda. Um, but I'd like to see uh, Price step up a pace. At least Tyson Fury is now fighting Kevin Johnson. Let's see uh, Tyson, um, um, uh, David Price fight somebody of note in his next bout after the Skelton fight. Providing he gets through Skelton without no um, upset. He really should be taking care of Skelton if he really is considering moving on to do bigger things. Let me know what you guys think. Is the Price hype really, is he the real deal? Or is he just hyped up? Okay, I'm out.